In John 6, verses 54 and 55, Jesus declares, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is indeed food, and my blood is indeed drink. No, Jesus was not promoting cannibalism, but what Jesus was using is a figure to say that in order for us to grow spiritually and to have spiritual life, we must fully partake of him. Even his life, his death, his broken body on the cross for our sins, and his spilt blood, which brings us eternal life. Jesus is inviting you to partake of him fully, not half-heartedly, that you may experience the joys that his sacrifice has brought humanity. John 3 verse 16 says it all, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, that's you, that's me, should not perish, but have everlasting life. I implore you, my friend, let us all partake of Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Everlasting Father, Lord God, we thank you for your loving sacrifice, for loving us that you were willing to send your son to die in our place, something he happily did when he saw the plight humanity was in. I pray, O oh God, that you may help us to appreciate how great depth of love was expressed at Calvary. And may we not take it for granted, but choose to follow Jesus by partaking of him wholeheartedly that we may indeed enjoy the joys that salvation brings. Thank you for another Sabbath, for keeping us through another week. And as we worship you today, may we do so in spirit and in truth. We pray and we say thanks in Jesus' name.